All right, so this is part um part two for the after dark reading. Um, I'll um I'm doing I'm putting a spill on the information on the um energy. So or should I say the information? So I'm hearing divine feminine. This after dark reading is for like informational purposes. It's something you need to know. And I'm hearing that song. Something, something's in my heart. Some, something's in my heart. I'm hearing that too. So divine feminine, I don't know. Divine feminine, your divine masculine, um, it could be in love with you. He could be falling in love with you. Or divine feminine, this karmic, um, probably like you. If this karmic is a female, she she probably likes you. But she like dating your divine masculine or she's related to your divine masculine, but she likes you. Because that's the song I heard over here in this karmic energy. Something's in my heart. Is that how the song goes? You got me hooked on you or something. Or divine feminine. Um, That's how somebody feel. So divine feminine, maybe you need to know that. That somebody hooked on you or something like that. Or something, hold on. Or I also just heard too, Divine Feminine. This karmic could be dating your Divine Masculine. But it's like Divine Feminine, the karmic could be in love with your Divine Masculine. So it's like the karmic could be trying to to um, offend you or do something, Divine Feminine. Because it's like Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine is um, occupied with you. Like it could be in his thoughts, he's thinking about you. But the karmic is thinking about him. And it's like she want to tell your Divine Masculine like she's in love with him. She's hooked on him. It's like Divine Feminine, the karmic is hooked on your Divine Masculine, but your Divine Masculine hooked on you. So this karmic could be very annoyed and agitated Divine Feminine by you. So Divine Feminine, I don't know if this karmic... Divine Feminine, I don't know if your Divine Masculine could be your, like your ex. And this karmic want to ask you like, how did you get your Divine Masculine to fall in love with you? Or she could pr probably even be wanting to ask you about relationship advice. Something this karmic is trying to do, but she's trying to do it indirectly, Divine Feminine. Because it's like this karmic can't directly say what she want to say to you. So divine feminine, this I don't know if you're aware that this karmic is dating your divine masculine, or maybe you're not aware or something. But it's like this karmic can't just come out and say it. She wants your divine masculine to feel for her what he feels for you or something. Or divine feminine, what you have with your divine masculine, that's what she wants. Or it's like divine feminine. This could also be a situation where Divine Feminine say like you and your Divine Masculine was married and y'all had a house together. It's like Divine Feminine through y'all divorce or y'all separation, you got the house. It's like Divine Feminine, this karma could be trying to do something to like take your house from you so her and your Divine Masculine can live there. Like something like that. This karma is like out of order. Yeah, something like that. This karma going... <clears throat> what's the spell yeah long distance yeah a strong emotional commitment to another who is far away and often beyond physical access most of the time so this karmic could be dating um somebody's divine masculine but this karmic is either thinking about moving long distance or does karmic move long distance and she's thinking about returning so she could be closer to divine masculine the karmic is emotionally walking away or it's like divine feminine the karmic could be giving up on trying to get your divine masculine to like love her or give her his attention so she could be emotionally walking away because um Divine Feminine, the relationship that this karmic has with your Divine Master, it could be long distance. 
So she could either be like just leaving your divine master alone because the odds are against her. Or this karmic is thinking about moving long distance because she's frustrated. Divine feminine, this can even be the karmic feelings though. She needs to move long distance. Bring take your divine masculine with her so he can get away from you. Or something like that. <clears throat> Whatever this karmic is doing is not smart. It's not smart. Whatever this karmic is doing. Something is not going to work out in this karmic's favor. Whatever this karmic is doing. So divine feminine, this karmic and your divine masculine could have like a secret relationship. But it's like divine feminine, you could be single. You're not with your divine masculine. But this is divine feminine. Say like the karmic is planning on moving, going long distance away from you. But she dating your divine masculine and she want she want him to come with her. But divine masculine, say like this karmic don't got money and you do. And you know this karmic. It's like divine feminine, this karmic going to ask you to help her with her moving expenses. That's not, something this karmic is doing is not smart. It's not smart. And it's not like nice. That's not, uh, that's not right. It could be something like that going on. So like I said, in the beginning of the reading, this divine feminine, you could be related to this karmic and your divine masculine messing around with this karmic. And she plan on moving probably, probably around November, around Thanksgiving or something, divine feminine. But she's asking you, can you help her move or something? But it's like Divine Feminine, you don't know that she's planning on moving away with your Divine Masculine or something like that. I also see, it's like Divine Feminine, this karmic is jealous of you because she wants your Divine Masculine, but it's like she don't want to accept it. Divine Feminine, it's like this karmic is saying... She don't like you because you a hoe. But Divine Feminine, that's not the reason why this karmic don't like you. This karmic don't like you because she wants your Divine Masculine. Like something like that this karmic is doing. So it's like to make this karmic feel better, Divine Feminine, about her betraying you, she, be, she could be telling people you a hoe. Or she's telling your Divine Masculine you a hoe. Yeah, but... It's like this karmic is lying. Because the two of swords is coming out sideways. So this can also be divine feminine. This karmic got a guilty conscience. Because she don't know if you know. She, I don't know exactly what's going on. Because divine feminine, you having a tower moment. So this could be the karmic's guilty conscience. So divine feminine, say like usually when this karmic call you, you answer the phone. Divine Feminine, you either know that this karmic betrayed you or you don't. But Divine Feminine, say like, for instance, you don't know that this karmic betrayed you. But be, because this karmic know what she's doing behind your back, Divine Feminine, say like, this karmic call you after dark hours tonight and you have an attitude. It's like Divine Feminine, this karmic like, I want to do Divine Feminine know. Why is Divine Feminine talking to me like that? She's wondering, Divine Feminine, if you know that she's jealous. Like, do she, she want to know if you know, have you found out that she's jealous of you and that she wants the one you're with, but she's emotionally walking away from, um, having a guilty conscience. Yeah. Divine Feminine, this karma could have been going around telling people, Divine Feminine, if you was married to your Divine Masculine, she was telling your Divine Masculine that you was a hoe. Or she was going around telling other family members, Divine Feminine, that you a hoe. So, Divine Feminine, this towel moment could be your Divine Masculine calling you a hoe. It's like Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine come home and just start calling you a hoe. And you like, what? Divine Feminine, this karmic could have brought up something that happened in your past. Divine Feminine. And Divine Feminine, you could be telling your Divine Masculine, that's old. I don't date John and Jimmy no more. That's old. Like, you could be telling your Divine Masculine, I'm married to you now. I don't date no more. Like, what are you talking about? So, Divine Feminine, I also see in the cards that Divine Feminine, you might have to sacrifice something that you do. 
And you need to spend more time with your divine masculine. That's if you care, divine feminine. Divine feminine, maybe your job requires that you travel. Or divine feminine, maybe your divine masculine's job requires that he travel. The ninth house. And it's like divine feminine, you either need to be traveling with your divine masculine when he go out on the road. Or divine feminine, you need to like stay home more. Because it's like divine feminine, when you and your divine masculine is apart, he be with the karmic. So divine feminine, you have some type of occupation that you probably got to let go of. If you truly want to save your relationship um, with your divine masculine. Yeah, because this karmic divine feminine doesn't interfere, doesn't intervene in some type of way. And she could be telling your divine masculine that you a hoe or something. So divine feminine, you could be awakening to who you truly are. Divine feminine, your love life, your twin flame connection could be under attack because... You're indeed divine feminine, a divine feminine. And this man over here that's intimidated is your divine masculine. So it's like divine feminine, the cards that the angels is asking you, divine feminine, do you want him or not? Because this karmic is putting your twin flame connection under like attack. It's like, do you, do you want to set, do you like divine feminine? Yeah. I don't know if you could be in union or you could be married to your divine masculine. But Divine Feminine, this karmic could be bringing up your past on top of lying. And Divine Feminine, you probably work a lot or something. But it's like Divine Feminine, it's like you wasn't meant to be alone. Divine Feminine, you have a twin. And for the most part, twin flames don't always end up in union. But Divine Feminine, what I'm picking up from you is your twin flame connection, y'all was meant to go into union. Like, you wasn't uh, called to be alone, Divine Feminine. So, Divine Feminine, you're either called for marriage or you're already married. And this karmic Divine Feminine is tearing your twin flame connection up. I mean, tearing it up. The towel moment right here. So, Divine Feminine, Spirit probably wants you to let go of, like, an occupation. Divine Feminine, you probably work too much. Um, or Divine Feminine, it's something that you do, like it could be a hobby or something. So Divine Feminine, say like you're like a event planner or you like do like, you plan events for like outdoors. So you plan like, um, concerts, uh, walking events, fundraisers. It's like Divine Feminine, you always doing something. You be here, you be there. And it's like Divine Feminine, while you not around because of your hobbies, something you do for, or this could even be volunteer work. Divine Feminine, this karmic is tearing your twin flame connection up. Or something. Or Divine Feminine, um, this karmic is telling your Divine Masculine that you sleep around with your co-workers or something. Or something. This karmic telling your Divine Masculine. So... What I see, because see, the karmic having a hard time with being a self-starter. So, it's like Divine Feminine. Why the karmic got to tell your business to the, your Divine Masculine to get his attention? That's not self-starter. Divine Feminine, this karmic should be sufficient in who she is to lock your Divine Masculine in by who she is alone. She shouldn't have to, like, gossip about you, Divine Feminine, to your Divine Masculine. To lock your divine masculine in. She shouldn't have to do that. That's not being a self-starter. That's being a snitch. <laughs> or that's being dumb. Because um, intelligence flew, flew on the floor. So this karmic is not smart at all. Or something this karmic doing is not nice. Yeah. The, the angels is trying to get this karmic to be a self-starter. Like why you have to downgrade divine feminine... To get her divine masculine to see you in a better light. Why you got to do that? Why you got to cause a tower moment for divine feminine? You don't, You shouldn't have to do that like that if you're truly a self-starter. It's like the, the angels are saying to the karmic, if you are the divine feminine, why do you have to tear down another divine feminine to get a divine masculine? Why do you have to do that? Why do you have to cause destruction? You shouldn't have to do that if you're a self-starter. Because Divine Feminine, if this karmic was a Divine Feminine, 
Her energy alone would pull your divine masculine in. Like her energy alone. She shouldn't have to open her mouth and say nothing about you, divine feminine. She shouldn't have to open her mouth. The angels want this karma to be a self-starter. So that means when your divine masculine is in this karmic's energy, that's automatic. She shouldn't even have to say nothing. She shouldn't have to cause you a tower moment, divine feminine. So, whatever the karmic is doing, divine feminine, after dark hours tonight, <clears throat> divine feminine, you could eat, you could even be like going through a breakup with your divine masculine. If y'all like lived together or y'all was married. Or something like that. Yeah. Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine could have been attacking you because of this karmic. And it's like Divine Feminine, you occupation, you don't know what the hell going on. All you know, you got a tower. That's because of this karmic. Yeah. This karmic is jealous. Um, but Divine Feminine, this karmic is either have drug addictions or this karmic got mental health issues. Or the karmic's jealousy could be like her mental health issue. It's like Divine Feminine, this karmic so jealous of you, she don't even realize what she did to you. That's how determined Divine Feminine, this karmic was to like cause you a tower moment. To do harm to you. It's like the karmic don't even realize it. It's like the karmic could have snapped or something. Divine Feminine, this karmic don't even realize that she's jealous of you. Yeah. Or this karmic don't realize that she was wrong. Because this karmic was so hell bent, Divine Feminine. On getting the one that you're with or something like that. What's the spill with the Nine of Swords coming out sideways? But it's like Divine Feminine, if this is about your Divine Masculine being with this karmic or this karmic trying to take your Divine Masculine. <sighs> divine Feminine, it's alright because um, this karmic should be very careful because something this karmic is doing is not smart. I'm going to give this scenario and this is what I heard. When you take, for the most part, when you take a dog from their owner, because, I mean, this literally, I learned this the hard way. And I was young when this happened to me. When I was, I was younger, but I was old enough to walk a dog, but I was still young. I was a minor. And I thought the dog was cool with me because I used to go in my neighbor's yard. Um, he was an adult. He had, like, dogs and stuff. But I used to go in the yard and play with his the kids my age. I used to go in their yard, play with the dog. I thought the dog was cool with me. Because the dog knew me. Whatever, whatever. I'm always in their yard playing with my friends. And one day, he was asking the, the kids that was my age, he was asking them to walk the dog. They didn't want to walk the dog. So what I did, I said, I'll walk the dog. So... When I got halfway up that street, that dog turned around and almost bit my entire face off. It was by the grace of God that I survived that, that I survived that because I had to hold the dog a certain type of way. So it wouldn't, I had the chain in my hand and the dog just turned on me just like that because the dog didn't want nobody else to walk him. He. I took that dog from its owner, and I'm not usually the one that walked the dog. But I learned a, I learned that the hard way. I learned if it ain't my dog, if it ain't my family's pet, I ain't walking nobody dog. I ain't walking nobody dog. That dog did not want me to walk it, period. So, um... That's what's going to happen to this karmic, Divine Feminine. I see it in the cards. <laughs> I see it in the cards. So, it's like Divine Feminine, this karmic got your Divine Masculine and her energy or whatever. But Divine Feminine, this karmic, like, coming up against you, your Divine Masculine, she's putting your Divine Masculine in a situation. 
Because it's like divine feminine. Your divine masculine loyalty is to you. It's to you. And he's intimidated the divine feminine. It's like divine feminine. Your divine masculine could be upset at you for whatever reason. Maybe because you always working. But divine feminine, his loyalty is to you, whether he a dog or not. And divine feminine, your divine masculine don't want this, this karmic to like walk him nowhere. <laughs> or something like that. Divine feminine, this karmic is trying to take your divine masculine long distance. She's trying to walk your dog, Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, you and your Divine Masculine could be in separation because he a dog. But he don't want this karmic to walk in. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, but what came out for the Nine of Swords sideways is chilling. Being really comfortable in life, not wanting to do the most at ease and at peace with the world. Yeah. Divine Feminine, I think this karmic might just walk away from, like, offending you. Or it's like this karmic is like, um, it's like this karmic know they wrong, but this karmic is not listening to their conscience. This karmic is not listening to their intuition. It's like Divine Feminine, this karmic should be feeling guilty, but this karmic is like chilling. This karmic like, psh, I don't care. But really, this karmic need to be nine swords and let something go. Because this can even be like life or death, Divine Feminine. Because your Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, is thinking about doing harm to this karmic. Because your Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, don't belong to her. Yeah. So, Divine Feminine, I think it's kind of looking like this karmic might walk away from your Divine Masculine after dark hours tonight. Or Divine Feminine, your, this karmic and your Divine Masculine could be arguing about you. Divine Feminine, this karmic could be trying to get your Divine Masculine to like maybe sign some paperwork or something. They could have been supposed to move in together, Divine Feminine. And Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine like... Wait a minute. Give me a chance. You didn't even give me a chance. Let me think about it. Or something. They might get into an argument. The situation will improve. Or it's like Divine Feminine. Your Divine Masculine could be down with this. But it's like Divine Feminine. Your Divine Masculine telling that karmic, leave Divine Feminine alone. Me and you about to move away together. And you calling my Divine Feminine to ask her for money. And you know me and you about to move away together. It's like Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine don't approve of that. It's like what he doing is already low. But it's like Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine, um, whatever this karmic doing, Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine don't like that. Yeah. And this karmic is like, what's the big deal? Like what? It's like Divine Feminine, this karmic wants to blatantly, like totally disrespect you. And your divine masculine, like, chill with all that. Chill with all that, because I won't go. I won't do this. Don't do that. We can get up the money ourselves to move. If me and you supposed to run away together, since we secret lovers, we can figure it out how to move, whatever, whatever. Your divine masculine telling this karmic, don't get the money from divine feminine. Like, how dare you? Like, don't do that like that. Or something like that, divine feminine. Yeah, this is grimy what this karmic doing. But the cards are showing me it's not smart. Whatever this karmic doing, this is not intelligent at all. So Divine Feminine. I don't know who is who really. But a scenario I see is Divine Feminine, you could be related to this karmic or this karmic could be your co-worker or Divine Feminine, you do business with this karmic. And this karmic is sleeping around with your divine masculine, divine feminine behind your back. And they plan on moving in together or moving away together or something. Um, yeah. Um, I forgot what I was about to say. Um... 
Divine Feminine, you could still be like, Divine Feminine, this can even be a situation where this karmic works for you. And behind your back, Divine Feminine, this karmic was like opening up. Divine Feminine, say like you, uh, you own a nail salon. And Divine Feminine, you had like five technicians. Divine Feminine, behind your back, this karmic went and opened up a nail salon. And she's trying to get your employees to leave and come with her. Like something like that, this karmic is doing. This karmic wants the one you're with. So Divine Feminine, this karmic could be trying to get your employees to come with her and work for her. This karmic could be trying to get your assistant to leave you and come with her. Somebody that's on your team, Divine Feminine, this karmic want. And whatever this is, love, work, and life. Divine Feminine, somebody that's on your team, this karmic want them for her benefit or something like that. So this could be your Divine Masculine. This could be your employees. This could be like your assistant, your manager. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something like that going on. So it's like Divine Feminine. Yeah. Divine Feminine, you having a tower moment or something. Or this karma could be having a tower moment. It's like Divine Feminine. Say like, for instance, the karmic is dating your Divine Masculine. And him or her was supposed to run away together. Divine Feminine. It's like this. Your Divine Masculine was supposed to meet up with this karmic at the bus station, airport, whatever. Divine Feminine. After dark hours tonight, your Divine Masculine might ghost this karmic. Divine Feminine. This karmic gonna come to your house and be like looking through your window. And see your Divine Masculine at home with you. Yeah, it's like Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine at home with you, but he's supposed to be meeting up with this karmic at the airport. And it's like Divine Feminine, this is the karmic. This karmic looking through your back window or something like that, Divine Feminine. So Divine Feminine, you probably have to let go of an occupation. Divine Feminine, maybe this karmic works with you, work where you work at. And it's like divine feminine, this karmic might walk, this karmic is walking away from moving long distance. So she's not moving. So she might go back to work. And it's like divine feminine spirit don't want you working with this karmic. Because her and your divine masculine is supposed to run away together. Or something. This karmic pissed off. I also see Divine Feminine that you could be at home with your Divine Masculine or whoever. Whoever the karmic want to take from you, Divine Feminine. You could be at home with this person. Divine Feminine, you could be sitting like somewhere watching TV. And you see the karmic's reflection through the TV, but the karmic is staring in your window. And you, you see the karmic's reflection. Or Divine Feminine, this karmic got somebody at your back door. And it's like somebody at your front door. All because this karmic wanted somebody divine feminine that you got. So divine feminine, this could be you on the couch, you at home with your family, kids. And you look through like the, t it's like divine feminine, you can see a reflection through your TV or something like that. You can, you can see something. So, Divine Feminine, this could even be a situation if you work third shift, Divine Feminine. And Divine Feminine, you this could even be Divine Feminine, you at home. And you thought that you saw, like, the company's car. Divine Feminine, say like you work for Amazon. And Divine Feminine, you um at home, Divine Feminine, you could do third shift. Divine Feminine, one of your co-workers at work, they want your Divine Masculine. Or this girl sleeping with your Divine Masculine. And Divine Feminine, you like, it's kind of late for Amazon to be outside. But it's like, Divine Feminine, you can see the Amazon van through, like, the reflection. Like, you watching TV and, like, you see the car go by or something. And Divine Feminine, you like, that's kind of strange. <laughs> but Divine Feminine, this person driving by your house, they was waiting for your Divine Masculine to come outside or something. And Divine Feminine, maybe the cars could be telling you, don't go to work or call out. Or something. Let go of some type of occupation. <sighs> the 
This is crazy. Or divine feminine, you be letting like your divine masculine sell drugs or something out your house. And it's like divine feminine, your divine masculine was messing around with this karmic. The karmic is aware of it. And it's like divine feminine, this karmic could have sent somebody to your house to rob your house. Because it's like divine feminine, you work with this karmic. And this karmic is aware y'all work third shift. So it's like divine feminine, this karmic was waiting for you to go to work and they was going to offend your divine masculine while he was at home by himself. Or something like that. Something like that going on. So divine feminine, you waking up to who you truly are. This can also be you being intuitive and you probably have to do something to protect your divine masculine after dark hours tonight. Yeah, this could be you to stay home, let go of your occupation. Because Divine Feminine, this karmic could have been planning. Because I see somebody at the front door and the back door. Or Divine Feminine, the karmic could be like at the back door. But you see yo, the Amazon truck like ride by. And you like, it's kind of late. Like what an Amazon truck doing? Yeah, something like that going on. And Divine Feminine, this karmic a hoe. Divine Feminine, this karmic is a hoe. Because it's like Divine Feminine, this karmic can have several lovers. This karmic can have nine different lovers. But it's like Divine Feminine, this karmic wanted to do harm to your Divine Masculine. Because he with you. It's like, karmic, you got nine wands. Why you want my Divine Masculine? Like, you got nine options. Why you at my house? Yeah. Divine Feminine, this karmic could have been at your back door. And something like that going on, this karmic was doing. Yeah, this karmic could be a hoe. And want to do harm to you or your divine masculine or something. Like behind your back, divine feminine. Yeah. Yeah, unimpressed. Mm-hmm. This could be the universe because... I picked up that this karmic, something this karmic doing is like dumb. This is not intelligent. Divine feminine, this could even be your divine masculine. Or divine feminine, this could be you. Divine feminine, you might see something or you're going to see a reflection. Something you're going to see, divine feminine, and you're going to say, divine feminine, you might say this karmic dumb. Or divine feminine, you're going to say my divine masculine is so dumb. Or something like that. Divine Feminine, somebody was trying to do something behind your back, but you might figure something out. And Divine Feminine, you're not impressed. And Divine Feminine, you probably don't know exactly what's going on, but it's like Divine Feminine, you gonna stay at home like you might call out. Or something. Divine Feminine, this could be just karmic your co-worker. Y'all work together. Y'all probably work third shift. And Divine Feminine, this karmic called you earlier today. Earlier today. And told you she wasn't going into work. But it's like Divine Feminine. You see this karmic's car or something right by your house or something. And Divine Feminine, you're not impressed. Something is like this karmic doing is dumb as hell. And Divine Feminine, you're going to figure something out. So Divine Feminine, somebody is not impressed by this karmic. Because something this karmic doing is like dumb. Or something is not well thought out. Or Divine Feminine, this karmic is like compared to your intuition. Divine Feminine, this could be your intuition. And it's like for the most part, intelligence. For the most part, intelligence can go hand in hand with intuition. But for the most part, at the end of the day, intuition always tops intelligence. Intuition, that trumps intelligence. Or something like that, Divine Feminine. The, your Divine Masculine not impressed by this karmic. Or Divine Feminine, you not impressed. You could be disappointed because you're going to pick up something intuitive, the Divine Feminine. That your Divine Masculine is karmic doing. Or something is karmic doing. Or this is the universe is not impressed by this karmic. Somebody is not impressed by this karmic. Yeah. All right. What's the spill with let go occupation and in in, um? Oh no, I already got that. Yeah. <clears throat> so divine feminine, you probably had to hold back from traveling. 
or divine feminine, you're gonna have to hold back or let go of some type of um belief system, some type of religion, ideologies, or some type of higher learning, or some type of philosophies or something. Divine feminine, I also see this karmic. Divine feminine, stop talking to this karmic. Stop talking to this karmic. Stop talking to this karmic. Yeah, because this karmic is like an idiot, Divine Feminine. Mm -hmm. So, Divine Feminine, you need to let go of, like, talking to this karmic about your belief systems, your religion, your ideologies, or your philosophies, or something to do with traveling. Divine Feminine, stop talking to this karmic. Yeah, so Divine Feminine, say, like, um, you be at work, or this karmic works with you. And y'all always talk about God and God been good and God this and God that and I got this. Divine Feminine, you and this karmic be talking. But it's like Divine Feminine off the strength of you guys discussing in the ninth house. This karmic is like wants to offend you to see if you are as blessed as you say you are. That's something like this this karmic is doing. Yeah, because you be talking to this karmic about some type of belief system. Divine Feminine, this could even be you talking, you talk to the karmic about your relationship with your Divine Masculine. And Divine Feminine, this karmic could be taking something as you bragging. Because your belief system, it's like Divine Feminine, you be saying, I believe that a man should never divorce or so, whatever you be telling this karmic. And Divine Feminine, this karmic want to just do something for the, for the hell of it. Because of you discussing the ninth house with her. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Divine Feminine, stop talking to this karmic. Because it's like this karmic want to challenge you. And at the same time, this karmic is causing harm. This karmic is like causing harm or she's planning on causing harm. Because of something y'all was talking about or something. What's the spell with the tower? Yeah, stalking. Yup. Mm-hmm. Someone stalking you on social media or by any means possible, often checking up on you, keeping tabs, watching you. Yeah. Divine Feminine, like I said, you or whoever this person is that this karmic want to take from you, um, somebody going to see something like a reflection or... Somebody going to see something like out the corner of their eye or somebody's going to see a reflection because this karmic trying to stalk somebody, but somebody going to like catch this karmic. Yeah, something like that. Something going on with traveling. So Divine Feminine, this could be telling me to tell you don't drive like after dark hours tonight or like stay home or call out of work. Because this karmic was like planning on either like robbing your house or... um. Causing harm to your divine masculine, but it's like this karmic wanted to wait till like you went to work or something. Yeah, something crazy. Somebody was trying to stalk somebody, but it's like somebody gonna see somebody. Yeah, something like that. So someone's having a hard time stalking you, divine feminine. Mm hmm. Yep. What's the spell with the Ten of Cups? The fourth house? What's the fourth house? Is this cancer? One sense of security, family, siblings, parents, ancestry, heritage, roots, one's housing, and comfort. Yeah. Yep. So, Divine Feminine, you could definitely be a cancer, or this karmic could be a cancer, or Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine could be a cancer. Because we got the Ten of Cups in the fourth house. So, somebody could definitely be have cancer somewhere in the chart. Let me just double check, make sure that's cancer. Yep, that's the fourth house. Yep. So, somebody's have, somebody, could be, somebody is having a tower moment around their sense of security. Their family, their siblings, their parents, their heritage, their roots, one's housing. So, like I said, 
this karmic could be at somebody's house and they not supposed to be at somebody's house. Yeah. What's the spill with the nine of wands? Or well, this karmic trying to go to somebody's house or something? Or divine feminine, this karmic want to take your family from you, your siblings from you, your parents or something? Or your housing. I already said that. I picked that up too. Divine feminine, if you got a house, this karmic is trying to take your house. Or she's trying to help your divine masculine take the house. So it's like divine feminine, if you're going through a divorce or something. But it's like divine feminine. If you and your divine masculine going through a divorce, divine feminine, your divine masculine don't want that, that stupid house. He don't, he probably don't even want to divorce you, divine feminine. But he going over here talking about the everything going on with the divorce to this karmic. But it's like divine feminine, your divine masculine just talking, he's venting. So it's like divine feminine, this karmic could be telling your divine masculine, we can move away together. Like, why... Bump that house. We can move away together. And your divine masculine like, no, she ain't getting my house. That's my house. We had that house together. I want the house. But it's like divine feminine, what this karmic don't know is that your divine masculine don't want that dumbass house. He want you. And this karmic sitting up here trying to plan out a scheme, divine feminine, to get you put out your house. Or trying to get you, this karmic trying to do something. To, like, help your divine masculine. But it's like, divine feminine, your divine masculine don't want that house. He's just mad because y'all either divorcing or y'all separating or something like that. What's the spell with the nine of wands? Yeah, a mental prison. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Someone who is trapped in their head may suffer from mental illness, self-limiting beliefs. Yeah. Divine family, you could be a water sign. You could be a Scorpio or a Cancer. And this karmic could be a fire sign, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Or this karmic is an Aquarius or an air sign. And divine family, you could be a water sign. Like I said, this karmic got mental health issues. I also see Divine Feminine. This karmic really thought that your Divine Masculine was going to run away with her. But it's like Divine Feminine, this karmic a hoe. So it's like this karmic got to have mental health issues to sit up there and believe your Divine Masculine when he said he was going to move away with her. And everybody knows she likes sleeping with nine different men or something like that. Yeah, a mental prison. A mental prison. Someone is, who is trapped in their head may suffer from men mental illness, self-limiting beliefs. Yeah. This karma got nine wands. Divine feminine, this karma could be sleeping with nine men or something. And it's like divine feminine. Your divine masculine was just going to this karmic inventing. And she took it serious. Because this karmic could have mental health issues. Yeah, yeah. this karmic could be a fire sign. Mm -hmm. It's like this karmic is the type of person, and then on top of Divine Feminine, whoever you is, Divine Feminine, this, this karmic is the type of person. That it's like you can't, this karmic could be like an extremist. Or Divine Feminine, this karmic is like just an extremist to you. So it's like any little thing, Divine Feminine, that this karmic hear about you, this karmic just be ready to go to war. So divine feminine, say like this karmic went, say like your divine masculine went to this karmic and was like, damn. Now divine feminine want to take the house. We going through a divorce. Divine feminine, this karmic was planning on chopping your head off. And it has nothing to do with her. Like this had, this divorce has nothing to do with this karmic. But because it's you, divine feminine, this karmic want to cause you a tower moment and like, do something to your house or something. Yeah. This karmic nine wands. 
She was, yeah, something. Yeah, something. <laughs> divine Feminine, if y'all Divine Masculine like acting nervous or something, Divine, mas divine Feminine, say like you live with your Divine Masculine. And your divine masculine, like divine feminine, stay home. Just stay home. <laughs> divine feminine, listen to your divine masculine, cause he probably seen that karmic outside, some it's like somewhere outside your house or something. And it's like divine feminine. Once your divine masculine convince you to like stay home, don't travel, don't go nowhere. It's like he gonna get up and go in his karmic energy and say something to her, cause it's not what you do, it's how you do it. It's like Divine Feminine, this karmic could be sleeping around with your Divine Masculine. They got a private relationship. But it's like this karmic taking something too far. She's trying to stalk you, Divine Feminine. This is crazy. This karmic. Or Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine could have been telling this karmic you a hoe. And that's what he get. But this karmic crazy though. Divine Feminine, this, your Divine Masculine could have been selling this karmic, you a hoe. You be having men at the house. You be cheating on him. And it's like, Divine Feminine, this karmic want to help your Divine Masculine catch you cheating. But it's like, Divine Feminine, the night that this karmic, it just so happened after our hours tonight. It's like, Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine could be at home with you. And he going to see her or something, like at your house. Or at your house. So it's like Divine Feminine, let go of some type of occupation. So you either need to call out of work after dark hours tonight because this karmic doing something around your house. Um, or Divine Feminine, you work with this karmic and you need to let this karmic go. I mean, you need to let this job go. Divine Feminine, if you don't know this karmic... Ooh... Divine Feminine, if you don't know this karmic, um, your Divine Masculine could be getting karma. Because this karmic got mental health issues. And it's like, Divine Feminine, this karmic could be trying to figure out what you look like. So, Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine could have been at work, like, talking junk about you to this karmic. Divine Feminine, this, this karmic could even be your Divine Masculine's co-worker. This karmic probably be, be picking your Divine Masculine up for work or something. But it's like Divine Feminine, this karmic is like taking something upon herself to do something that she didn't get the authorization or the okay from your Divine Masculine to do. It's like Divine Feminine, if she's sleeping with your Divine Masculine, sleep with him. If he's talking junk about you, okay, you either listen or you don't. But Divine Feminine, who gave this karmic the right to try to stalk you? Like, who told her to do that? Or something. It's like Divine Feminine, this karmic want the... This karmic think that if she harass you, it'll make your Divine Masculine happy or something. Or Divine Feminine, this, your Divine Masculine be, could be telling this karmic... I think Divine Feminine cheating on me. But it's like Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine didn't tell the karmic to stalk you to, to confirm if you cheating on him or not. He didn't tell this crazy karmic to do that. But that's what he get for venting to her. And now somebody going to have a tower moment around like their family. Or well, Divine Feminine, this karma is going to know what you look like. And this karma might come to your house or your job or your place of business, Divine Feminine. Because this karma is going to know what you look like or something. What's the school with um, let go occupation and ninth house? Behind the scenes, yeah. There is a lot going on behind the scenes. Things that are happening that you can't see, yeah. Divine Feminine, let something go because... Somebody is putting you, like, in danger a little bit, Divine Feminine. Somebody that you, yeah. So, Divine Feminine, it could be 
any scenario, Divine Feminine, this karmic is jealous of you. They want someone that you're with. So this karmic could be your business competitor, Divine Feminine. So be careful. And somebody, Divine Feminine, somebody you're connected to is like collaborating or confiding in this karmic. But this person is like going to regret that they was confiding in this karmic. Because I think this karmic got mental health issues. Or this karmic get high or something. And this karmic is like getting out of control. So Divine Feminine, somebody keeping a secret from you. So Divine Feminine, the cards is telling me to tell you don't travel. Divine Feminine, if your lover, if your co-worker, if your business partner, if your siblings, if your parents. Divine Feminine, somebody close to you was collaborating with like a crazy person about you. And this person, this karmic is getting out of control. So Divine Feminine, if somebody tell you, oh, Divine Feminine, don't go to work. It's like Divine Feminine, this person don't want to tell you what's going on. But somebody close to you, Divine Feminine, put you in trouble by accident. You like in danger a little bit. Because somebody close to you was confiding in this crazy karmic. So somebody could be telling you, Divine Feminine, to quit your job, um, don't go to work, no, don't travel, I'll travel. So Divine Feminine, you could be in the house with your Divine Masculine. And Divine Feminine, you'd be like, I'll be back, I'm going to the store. Divine Feminine, if your Divine Masculine be like, nah, I'll do it. That's because that karmic outside somewhere. <laughs> Something like that going on. Yeah. And Divine Feminine, if this is your Divine Masculine, I see in the cards, Divine Feminine, this, your, um, your Divine Masculine wasn't really going to run away with that karmic because she could be a hoe. And Divine Feminine, she was telling people you a hoe or telling your Divine Masculine you a hoe, but she a hoe. All them darn ones. But Divine Feminine, let go of something because something going on behind the scenes. This karmic could be a Sagittarius or got Sagittarius in their chart. Or your Divine Masculine could be a Sagittarius. Divine Feminine, somebody could have been discussing you behind your back and you didn't know and something is getting out of control. So Divine Feminine, this could be, say like Divine Feminine, you Christian and your Divine Masculine, he a Muslim. It's like Divine Feminine, you and your Divine Masculine not getting along and, hit, and this karmic is Muslim. So it's like Divine Feminine, this karmic and your Divine Masculine, they got a different religion from you. But it's like Divine Feminine, this karmic is like an extremist. It's like your Divine Masculine is venting to this karmic. But it's like Divine Feminine, this karmic want to do harm to you. Because of the ninth house. Somebody was discussing the ninth house with somebody with mental health issues. You got to be careful... With people with mental health issues, you got to be careful with discuss, discussing someone's belief systems. You shouldn't discuss religion with people with mental health issues or higher learning or philosophies with people with mental health issues. And your Divine Masculine is going to learn that the hard way, Divine Feminine. Somebody that was close to you, Divine Feminine, was confiding in this karmic. And this karmic got mental health issues. And this karmic trying to do something to offend you. Yeah. So Divine Feminine, things is going on behind the scene and your angels is telling you to let something go. Divine Feminine, this could even be telling me to tell you, your angels could be telling you to let this person go that you trusted. Yeah. So Divine Feminine, this could be your Divine Masculine. This could be whoever was confiding with this karmic. Divine Feminine, this could be telling me to tell you to let this person go. Because something is like dangerous. This karmic is crazy. So it's like divine feminine. Spirit don't want you getting hurt over no foolishness. Because this karmic. If this is in love. It's like divine feminine. This karmic really think that your divine masculine is her man. So it's like divine feminine. Stay away from your divine masculine. Until he handle this karmic. Because it's like divine feminine. This karmic can hurt you. And your divine masculine don't want to tell you what's going on. So you might have to let go of your divine masculine or something. Yeah, somebody got themselves in a situation, divine feminine, 
because they were gossiping about you to this karmic. And this karmic is crazy. Yeah. So what's the scoop with this tower and stalking sideways? What's the scoop with the tower and stalking sideways? Yeah, transformation. Things are changing in your life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Divine Feminine, something is going on. Things are changing in your life. I heard, Divine Feminine, your security has been breached. Your security has been breached. Or Divine Feminine, somebody that you thought was loyal to you, this person, like, did something to, like, cause you to vulnerable. Somebody, something like that going on. It's like, Divine Feminine, you vulnerable and you don't even realize it. It's like, Divine Feminine, things are changing in your life. Like, you need, like, extra protection or something? Divine Feminine, this can even be your fame status. Divine Feminine. You could be more famous, more popular than you realize it. So, Divine Feminine, you probably need protection. Divine Feminine, you probably have to go get you, like, some bodyguards or something. You probably can afford it. But you was thinking that you were straight. You could still go outside and mingle amongst regular society and Divine Feminine. No. Things are changing in your life. You have fans. You have stalkers. Um, Yeah. It's like, Divine Feminine, you need professional help. If you, like, famous or something. Yeah, you need, like, bodyguards. It's like, Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine alone can't protect you no more because your fame is getting too, too, uh, too, um, you need, like, professional, like, security, Divine Feminine. Like, this ain't, no, your Divine Masculine can't protect you alone or something like that. Things are changing in your life. Yeah. What's the school with the Ten of Cups in the fourth house? Oh. Oh. Divine Feminine, somebody that got you in a situation is also doing something behind the scenes to get you out of a situation. Because Divine Feminine, whoever this person is, they don't want you to know what they did. So, it's like Divine Feminine. <laughs> Say like your Divine Masculine was messing around with this karmic. And she crazy. She a loony bin. It's like Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine is like getting him and like his homeboys together to protect you, Divine Feminine. But it's like Divine Feminine, you don't realize it. So Divine Feminine, something that you need, you're getting, but you don't realize it because you don't know who you are. So Divine Feminine, maybe you don't know that your Divine Masculine love you or something. You're waking up to who you truly are. Or something. Things is changing. It's Divine Feminine. Things is going on behind the scene. Or Divine Feminine. This could be 5D help. This could be 5D help too. Divine Feminine. This can also be. This is my, also my card for like ancestors. Like your ancestor. Because Divine Feminine. Your Divine Masculine could have got you in trouble. And it's beyond, like, something that he can fix. And Divine Feminine, your ancestor is going to have to help you because somebody got mental issues. It's like, Divine Feminine, your crazy Divine Masculine done did something. And it's like, Divine Feminine, spirit got to beef up security. Like, for you. Like, literally. Because somebody crazy. Yeah. Or your Divine Masculine doing this. It's like, Divine Feminine... Your divine masculine be watching you. <laughs> he be having his homeboy watch you. Because this karmic is crazy. <clears throat> yeah. And then we got someone is desiring you. Yeah. Yeah, divine feminine. This is Your divine masculine put you in a third party situation in love. 
Or it's like divine feminine. Your divine masculine was messing around with this karmic. Not knowing that this karmic the whole time had like a thing for you. So divine feminine, this karmic female could be desiring you. This karmic crazy though. So divine feminine, this karmic could be upset because your divine masculine at, at desires you. Or what your divine masculine didn't know, divine feminine, was that this karmic like go both ways and she wanted you too just as bad as he did or something crazy like that. What's the school with the nine of wands and mental prison? Yeah, bound, feeling bound to a current situation. Yeah. Yeah. Divine feminine, your divine masculine could also be a fire sign. This could be your divine masculine too. He dealing with somebody that's in a mental prison. And he fell bound to that situation because he did it, divine feminine. He did this. He opened this door to this crazy karmic trying to do something behind your back or divine feminine, whatever your divine masculine was doing with this karmic. And now he a wounded warrior because he dealing with this karma. She got mental health issues. And now your divine masculine feel bound to a current situation. But it's like divine feminine, your divine masculine don't. It's like divine feminine, your divine masculine to take a bullet before he tell you what he did. Yeah. So divine feminine, if somebody try to like break in your house or something, or something strange happened around your house. Your divine masculine undid something, like behind your back. And it could be over a woman, this karmic. So divine feminine, this can even be a situation where your divine masculine was messing around with this karmic, had this karmic thinking he was going to leave you for her, and he didn't. So it's like divine feminine, this karmic could be trying to get some people to like get your divine masculine. Yeah. So divine feminine, if somebody do something to your divine masculine because of this karmic, Yup. And it was all because Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine wouldn't leave you for this karmic. If something happened. Yup. This karmic done set up there and did something. Alright, what's the scoop over here with this karmic with um the situation with improved main female and intimidated? This can also be Divine Feminine. This karmic wanna rush your divine masculine like to get a divorce either way divine feminine this karma got mental health issues and this is what your divine masculine get this is what he get it's like divine feminine this karmic might blow her top because y'all divorce is taking too long i see that too she might blow her top and like literally try to attack you or attack him or get your house shot up or try to get somebody to break in your house or something because y'all divorce taking too long so either way around it, Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine going to realize that he made a mistake with this karmic. Because she might blow her top. What's the school with this energy? Yeah, romantic thoughts. Having romantic thoughts about you. Yeah. Oh, gosh. This karmic. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I also see, again, the situation where I said in, earlier in the reading or in video one. Divine Feminine, this karmic is a man, and he left his girl for you. And Divine Feminine, you didn't tell this man to leave his main female for you. So it's like, Divine Feminine, you could have let go of this karmic masculine. And he's, he's trying to get his main female back, Divine Feminine. But this man is still having romantic thoughts about you and is dry, driving him crazy. Because it's like, Divine Feminine, this man wants you, but he wants his main female back too. But Divine Feminine, this man done left his main female for you. But Divine Feminine, you don't want this karmic masculine. So this man is like, damn, how am I going to get my main female back? And Divine Feminine don't even want me. So he has still have romantic thoughts about you, Divine Feminine. Even while he's trying to get your main female back. I mean, he's trying to get his main female back or something, yeah. So, Divine Feminine, I don't know. This karmic could be trying to get you to befriend his wife 
or divine feminine this card would probably want you to apologize to his wife or it's like divine feminine this man will have sex with you divine feminine if you let him have sex with you he prefer you over his main female divine feminine but since you won't have sex with him or since you don't want him divine feminine it's like this karmic masculine is telling you Call my wife and t call that main female and tell her we don't mess around no more. Or say sorry. It's it's like the right from this karmic man wants you to like uh get in contact with that main female for him or something. Cause he want her back. Cause you don't want him divine feminine. Yeah. So this karmic, either way around it, whether this karmic is a man or a female, this karmic could still have mental health issues, or this karmic gets high. Or this karmic is just like a hothead. It's like divine feminine. This man don't know how to be patient. So divine feminine, say like this karmic is a man and he's your ex. Divine feminine, nobody told this karmic to leave his main female for you. You didn't tell this karmic that. Divine feminine, he just broke up with this woman for you. And he expect this woman to take him back. Like immediately. And the angels is trying to tell this karmic masculine the situation will improve. Like you just hurt her feelings. Give it time. This man could have really left her. This man, this karmic masculine left his main female for you, Divine Feminine. And Divine Feminine, because you rejected this karmic masculine, now he just expected just this main female to just let him back in. And it's like Divine Feminine, if this main female reject this karmic masculine it's like he's going to try to come back and take his anger out on you and the angels is telling this karmic masculine calm down leave divine feminine alone and your situation with this main female is going to improve so calm down or something like that yeah divine feminine i also think if you aware of who this karmic is this female Divine Feminine, if this karmic is like your friend or family member or whoever, Divine Feminine, you're unaware that this karmic got mental health issues. You don't know. So this behind-the-scenes energy could be what's going through this karmic mind. Like, you don't know this karmic off their meds or... It's like, Divine Feminine, you didn't know that this karmic had mental health issues. Or something. Yeah. What's the scoop with the two of swords sideways and jealous? What's the scoop? Two of swords sideways and jealous. Yeah, tarot reading. Someone has gotten a reading done. Mmm. Yeah. This karmic be doing too much. This karmic be doing too much. Um. Oh God, this karmic just wrong. That's this karmic wrong all the way around the board. This karmic is wrong, period. So not only do this karmic could have mental health issues, this karmic could be on drugs. This karmic be getting tarot readings too. That ain't good. This is this is a recipe for disaster. This karmic don't know their left from their right because this karmic got mental health issues. This karmic could be have a drug addiction and this karmic do tarot lord have mercy this karmic began readings mm -mm. Whew. divine feminine i see to this karmic it's like divine feminine this karmic is like doing too much it's like divine feminine if this karmic is a female this karmic got a crush on you but at the same time, she's trying to take your man. It's like this karmic could have it either way. Like, it's like Divine Feminine. This karmic go get a tarot reader and be like, I want to know if Divine Feminine like me. Like, if I approach Divine Feminine, will Divine Feminine accept my offer? And it's like Divine Feminine. This karmic is two swords sideways. This karmic don't know they left from they right. This karmic crazy. I don't know what the tarot reader be telling the karmic, but this karmic crazy. Or divine feminine, this karmic likes you. It's like divine feminine, this karmic 
think they like you, but they really don't like you. They want your lover. Or the vice that this karmic doing something ain't got no business. Either way around it. Because it's like the car divine from this karmic two swords sideways. That ain't good. So this karmic could be um, bisexual. But it's not even the fact that this karmic bisexual. This karmic probably don't know they have mental health issues. Or something like that. Or this karmic don't want to accept the fact that they're bisexual. Divine Feminine, it's like this karmic hates you so bad. This karmic don't want to accept that they got a crush on you too or something. This is crazy. And then I go Thanksgiving or something. Oh, boy. What's the scoop with Eight of Cups and Long Distance? Divine Feminine, this karmic could have got a tarot reader. And the tarot reader told her to let it go. And that could be the only reason why this karmic is walking away. Yeah. It's like the karmic went from being like not knowing they left from their right. And because the karmic could have been confused, the karmic could have went and got a tarot reading. Now that the karmic gets a tarot reading, the karmic know, okay, now I know I got to walk away. I got to just stop this. Okay. So divine feminine, this karmic coming up against you was driving this. Either the karmic just naturally crazy. This karmic had mental health issues before they, um, was coming up against you or divine feminine this karmic coming up against you drove this karmic crazy or it's like divine feminine your divine masculine was driving this karmic crazy because he was lying to her like that's the confusion that's the confusion it's like divine feminine this karmic was confused because your divine masculine was lying to her because it's like this karmic like why every time I go over there to offend Divine Feminine, Divine Feminine never get offended? That's because your Divine Masculine was lying to this karmic Divine Feminine. And she might find out because she got a tarot reading. So Divine Feminine, if this karmic used to say, yeah, I'm going to go over Divine Feminine house. Yeah, Divine Masculine, what Divine Feminine do to you? And then this karmic used to be like, yeah, I'm going to go slash her tires. I'm going to do this. And it's like Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine used to like move your car for you or do something. Because he know what this karmic was saying to you. I mean, he, your Divine Masculine was aware that what this karmic was saying she was going to do to you. And something was driving this karmic crazy. Because it's like Divine Feminine, this karmic don't know they left from they right. This karmic two swords sideways. But this karmic do know that they're jealous. They want the one you're with. So why all of a sudden this karmic eight cups walking away? That's because this karmic went and got a tarot reading. Because this karmic was confused, Divine Feminine. Because I think your Divine Masculine was lying to this karmic. Yeah, your Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine probably a dog. And he a liar. Yup. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so divine feminine what I see too is this karmic is just going to walk away from the whole thing because divine feminine something could be wrong with your divine masculine too this could be your divine masculine mental health I'm picking up on so divine feminine this could be your divine masculine trying to work this karmic up to do harm to you and every time Divine Feminine, this karmic was about to offend you, your ancestor could have showed up. Because it could be your Divine Masculine that got mental health issues. Yeah. I also see, too, that <clears throat> I also just saw whoever this karmic female is, It's like Divine Feminine. It's like whoever this karmic... Divine Feminine, I don't know who this person is right here in that Nine of Wands. This could be like your ancestor or Divine Feminine. That's like your guardian angel. <clears throat> whoever this karmic female is... Um, <clears throat> a lot of men do this to this karmic. 
a lot of men do this to this karmic. So it's like divine feminine. Say like this karmic female, she could be like a um, she's something. She's known. She could be a tarot reader. She could be a practitioner, or she like she could be a hitman or something. This karmic female, she's like a hitman, or she's connected to hitmen or something. But it's like the divine feminine. Somebody always defeats this main female. Somebody always defeats her. And she don't know why. That's because it's your guardian angel or this is your ancestor. So this female can have an entity attachment or something. And it's like divine feminine. Oh, this is starting to get a little bit crazy. Um, No, I ain't going to say crazy. This is starting to get a little bit spiritual. It's like divine feminine. Say like this main female is new to you. She's new in town. But divine feminine, this uh, female, she got an entity attachment to her. Whatever this is, it's like divine feminine. This type of entity, this demon, whatever this karmic woman got attached to her, this thing right here, this ancestor, this person is the one that has to defeat this girl. It's like this thing is the one that keep her in check or something like that. So this woman could be, she could be like a spell pastor or a practitioner. But Divine Feminine, she could be new in your area. Like she just moved. She could be new in town. But it's like Divine Feminine, wherever this heifer go, this angel got to follow her because she caused damage or something. She does damage. She do, she, she do something. This woman be doing something. Or this woman done got like nine nine men killed or something. It's like divine feminine. This um ancestor or this angel, it's like this woman, I don't, it's like this woman be doing something to like men. And it's like this woman be getting these men hurt. Like he he something, or this woman be giving people diseases or something. But she could have did it to nine men. Whatever this is, she did it to like nine different men. Or something. What's the scoop with the eight of cups and long distance? Yeah, meant to be, yeah. This relationship is magical, is meant to be, yeah. Divine feminine, this karmic could have been trying to take your divine masculine from you, your family, your parents, your siblings, your housing. Divine feminine, this karmic was trying to take somebody from you. And what she was telling this person was, come on, be with me. Our relationship was meant to be as magical as meant to be. But divine feminine, this karmic is emotion. this karmic is walking away from telling this person this. Yeah, she walking away. Because this karmic done got a tarot reader. Or she's walking away from the idea that it, that she's meant to be with your divine masculine. Or something like that. Or divine feminine, this karmic is walking away from you and your divine masculine. Because your relationship is magical as meant to be. Yeah. What's the scoop with the nine swords sideways and chilling? Yeah, I go Thanksgiving again. Yeah. So, and then we got confusion. Yeah. Confusion and conflict may be going on at this time. Yep. Divine Feminine. <laughs> divine Feminine, I also see your Divine, Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine could have been working for you and you fired him or something. Or Divine Feminine, you and your Divine Masculine had a family business in, um, Y'all could be going to to court or something. Because y'all separating or something. <clears throat> or it's like Divine Feminine. Your Divine Masculine could be jealous of you because you work and he don't. Or you make more money than him. Or he mad because you won't reconcile with him or something. Divine Feminine, this could be your Divine Masculine. Um... Divine Feminine, this karmic could have been doing something to you since Thanksgiving. 
So that could be the reason why your divine masculine nine wands, your ancestor is here, or um, this karmic could be nine wands. Somebody nine wands. Divine feminine, this karmic could have been trying to offend you since Thanksgiving. Or divine feminine, this karmic was trying to um, get your divine masculine to come spend Thanksgiving with her or something. Yeah, so Divine Feminine, if you usually spend Thanksgiving with your Divine Masculine, this karmic was trying to get your Divine Masculine to spend Thanksgiving with her, like this year, or something like that, and Thanksgiving coming up. So, Divine Feminine, say like this karmic, been messing around with your Divine Masculine. It's like Divine Feminine, last year, your Divine Masculine told this karmic, me and Divine Feminine don't get along. Divine Feminine get on my nerve. We live together, but we ain't together. I don't sleep with her. This is and that. But Divine Feminine, last year, your Divine Masculine did not spend time with his third party, this karmic. But Divine Feminine, this karmic, whatever excuse your Divine Masculine gave her, she believed it. But something is going on, Divine Feminine, between last year Thanksgiving and now. To where this karmic is getting suspicious that your Divine Masculine could be a liar. And this karmic went and got a tarot reading. So, Divine Feminine, this karmic could have wanted to know who did your Divine Masculine spend Thanksgiving with last year. And Divine Feminine, it could have been with you. Or something. Something. Yeah, something to do with Thanksgiving. So, Divine Feminine, if something happened to you around Thanksgiving last year, this karmic could have did it because your Divine Masculine lied to her. Yeah, some this karmic could have offended you last year. And Divine Feminine, this karmic could be walking away from feeling bad because she could be saying, Divine Feminine, I don't feel bad for offending you because your Divine Masculine lied to me. If he wouldn't have lied to me, I wouldn't have offended you. Or something like that, this karmic saying. Or Divine Feminine, if you wasn't with your Divine Masculine last year, he was with this karmic. But it's like Divine Feminine, it was something your Divine Masculine was telling this karmic. That's why she don't feel bad because he could have been lying to her. But she should feel, I mean... Um, yeah, or something like that. Um, this karmic should, she, this karmic should feel, um, it's not necessarily, uh, regret. But this karmic should feel, feel foolish. I know if anything else, this karmic should feel very foolish. Not necessarily regret, but foolish. For whatever this is that happened last year, Thanksgiving. Yeah. So, the mind feminine, this karmic could be walking away from feeling regret. Not knowing how to feel. Not knowing what the truth is. To feeling foolish, Divine Feminine. Because this karmic is walking away from nine swords sideways. And I see the angels is telling the karmic, you going to feel something. But it ain't going to be you chilling. It, it ain't going to be this no more. Like, you confused. So, Divine Feminine, maybe in the past, this karmic was confused. Because your Divine Master could have been lying to her. So, it's like, this karmic was like, I don't know if I'm right. I don't know if I'm wrong. I don't know what's going on. So, since I don't really know what's going on. I'm going to just chill. Not after dark hours tonight. This karma can't just chill. Yeah. This karma going to feel something. And I think it's going to be foolish. This karma feel foolish. And maybe the, situa the situation will improve. Is like. um, The karma got to uplift their spirits. So the Divine Feminine. I don't know. Maybe this karma wants you to make her feel better or something. Because this karmic feel foolish or divine feminine, this karmic is trying to call you and she want to talk to you like, let me tell you what your divine masculine did to me. Let me explain it to you what happened. 
But it's like divine feminine, the, 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 the damage has already been done because your divine masculine done already deceived her or something. So divine feminine, you could be having a tower moment because this karmic like want to confess something to you. But it's like divine feminine, this karmic, is this karmic willing to tell the whole story? Because it's like divine feminine, this, your divine masculine, somebody made this karmic look dumb. But it's like divine masculine, this karmic, the divine feminine, this karmic still don't like you though. She still had bad intention. It's like divine feminine, this karmic got what she wanted. It just didn't go the way she wanted to go. And now she want to come back in your energy and gossip about your divine masculine to you. No. Yeah, she got what she wanted. It just didn't go the way she wanted it to go. Or something like that. Yeah. So, I'm going to end it. <sighs> this comment could be bisexual, too. Divine Feminine, I also see this karmic might go from hating you to, like, wanting to have sex with you. Because <laughs> it's like Divine Feminine, as a female, this karmic is realizing why you could have cut your Divine Masculine off. And she like, damn. <laughs> this karmic could be bisexual. Yeah. It's like Divine Feminine, your strength and your intuition, like, turn this karmic on. It's like divine feminine. This karmic gonna go from hating you to like wanting to like have sex with you, cause your divine masculine made her feel dumb, or did something to this girl. And divine feminine, you could have been. She gonna see divine feminine why you. The reason why you could have cut your divine masculine off, or something, or the reason why you divorced them, or something. Yeah, something. Yeah, something like that going on. So, I'm going to end it because I'm at an hour and a half. So, between the verse, the first video, Divine Feminine, I want to say too, like, why I'm doing this reading. I did a Divine Feminine reading earlier in this week. And I wasn't, like, too much comfortable in putting it out because I thought it was a little bit too, like, I didn't like the way I was reading. I just didn't like it. So, y'all that might stumble across this video... And like, if you want me to, if y'all want me to put it out, like if y'all comment um, below, just tell me if y'all want me to put out Divine Feminine's uh, reading and I will. But if not, I'm going to delete it. I'm going to delete it because um, after I listened to it, after I did the recording, I didn't, I didn't like, I didn't like it, but I still kept it in my, um, I could still upload it. But if y'all don't respond or whatever, if y'all don't care to, um watch it the reading then i won't but it was divine feminine's weekly reading for this week i did it earlier this week i just never uploaded it um yeah i just felt a little bit uneasy or uncomfortable a little bit yeah but so a divine feminine your um yeah So divine feminine, say like this karmic is a female and she's like, she was like one of your workers. Divine feminine, this karmic might confess to you that she was, she's opening up her own nail tech. She's opened up her own nail store and that she was trying to like get some of your workers to come and work for her. But it's like divine feminine, something might go wrong with this karmic getting their own business. And it's like the karmic, it's like divine feminine, this karmic going to try to come back to you confess to you but still want you to like let her work in your store divine feminine you gonna tell this karmic no you gonna tell her no you gonna come to me and admit to me that you was behind my back trying to go open up your own nail salon and was gonna take my workers from me but because yo um you trying to get your own nail salon didn't work at work out for you you expect me not to fire you Divine Feminine, you might fire this karmic after dark hours tonight. Yeah, something like that. Divine Feminine, this karmic could have been working for you. Or something.
but this karmic could have had a crush on you too or something well it's like divine feminine one of the reasons why this karmic came up against you was because you wouldn't have sex with her or something or divine feminine this karmic likes you and divine feminine this karmic know that you don't swing that way so she just offended you she tried to do something to you divine feminine because you want to sleep with her or something and that ain't right. You don't do stuff like that to people. Yeah. So, the karmic situation will improve because the karmic did something that was very foolish. It was very foolish. Um, Or, Divine Feminine, if the karmic could have did something to you that was very well thought out. <coughs> but something going to happen intuitively. And um, intuition always trumps intelligence for the most part. Intuition always trumps intelligence. Yeah. So the karmic situation will improve because this karmic could be getting karma in some type of way. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me put some tarot on this. Give me um some tarot with the karmic situation improving. Tell me more. Yeah, the karmic having a hard time closing out a cycle. Yep. The world comes. Something is stuck. Yeah, we got the two of wands. Yeah. Yep. Divine Feminine, this karmic was um, planning on doing something behind your back. Yeah. And something didn't work out. Yep. The karmic was trying to travel or was trying to get your divine masculine to travel towards her. Or they were supposed to travel together. Or Divine Feminine, this karmic was trying to steal your workers or something. This karmic could have been trying to open up their own business, their own salon. And Divine Feminine, this karmic was patience and planning. But something didn't work out. Yeah. Or Divine Feminine, the karmic is offending you. But it's like Divine Feminine, the karmic did something to offend you. And in order for the karmic to get success, this karmic like needs something from you. For her to go on the upright. But Divine Feminine, I think this karmic should tread lightly because Divine Feminine, whoever this, whatever this karmic, karmic wanted from you to get like a, an ex success at your expense, this karmic gonna get karma for this. This karmic gonna get karma on top of getting karma. So it's best that this karmic leave you alone, Divine Feminine. So, like I said, Divine Feminine, this could be a situation where this karmic was planning on taking your Divine Masculine. They was going to move away together. But Divine Feminine, this karmic calling you and asking you to help her with her moving expenses. Divine Feminine? <laughs> Divine Feminine, I think for one, your Divine Masculine is going to cuss this karmic out. That's for one. And for two, I think this karmic might get um, karma from the universe for like the audacity. So, yeah. So, um, Divine Feminine, this karmic gonna have to figure out a way to get some type of success without your, without you. Because Divine Feminine, the karmic is in the process of getting some type of uh, success at your expense. Yeah, something this karmic done did. Yep. Yeah. So let me see. Give me more information about Divine Feminine waking up to who she truly are. Give me some more tarot for this. The Knight of Cups. Mm. So Divine Feminine, you a sweetheart. That Knight of Cups is a sweetheart. Yeah. The Knight of Cups can also be a light worker. So Divine Feminine... Maybe you don't do tarot, but you watch tarot. But Divine Feminine, you're intuitive. So Divine Feminine, this could be telling you that maybe you could be a tarot reader. That's one of your gifts. You could read tarot or something like that. So it's like Divine Feminine, maybe like one time, like recently, it's like Divine Feminine, say like one time you bought a pack of tarot cards. You didn't think nothing of it. You just wanted to try it out. And Divine Feminine, you did a reading. It's like Divine Feminine, whatever type of reading you did in, in private, it's like everything in your reading is coming true after the hour tonight. So it's like Divine Feminine, something is trying to tell you that who you are. Divine Feminine, one of your gifts, you could be a tarot reader. You're a light worker. 
Yeah, divine feminine, you a light worker, whether you um realize it or not. Or divine feminine, you're under attack because you're a light worker. Something. The universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and helping you wake up to who you truly are. So divine feminine, you're either a sweetheart or like a light worker or something. The Knight of Cups is not necessarily gullible. I'm not going to say gullible because the Knight of Cups got armor on. So, Divine Feminine, you're not gullible. You're not gullible. So, Divine Feminine, I'm picking up um, Divine Feminine. It was something that you could have prophesied or Divine Feminine in private. Like, you could have just did it for fun. Divine Feminine, you probably don't even have a YouTube channel for tarot you just do it like on your leisure time and it's like divine feminine something that you got a reading on or you did a reading it's like actually coming true or divine feminine you just picked up something without tarot cards so divine feminine you could be a light worker the knight of cups divine feminine maybe you didn't know what that maybe you didn't know you was intuitive or something yeah divine feminine you intuitive you probably didn't know. What if I just nine of cups? Yeah, nine of the yeah. year. <laughs> Divine feminine, you could be a Virgo. <laughs> or you dealing with a Virgo or you got Virgo in your chart. I also see in the cards, Divine Feminine, you're probably better off single. I see that too. You're better off single. Divine Feminine, you're more nicer when you're single. So, Divine Feminine, you could have been married from the, married to your Divine Masculine. Or you was married to a karmic. But, but, but Divine Feminine, maybe you was called to be single. Maybe Divine Feminine, you got married and that's not what Spirit wanted you to do. It's like you wasn't supposed to get married, Divine Feminine. So rightfully so, Divine Feminine, you need to like cause this tower moment or divorce somebody. Because you're like better when you're single, you're more of a nicer person. Or Divine Feminine, yeah, um, you're better off doing something alone. Or something. The nine of pentacles is single and abundant. Or who you truly are. Divine feminine, you like abundant. You're independent. Divine feminine, even if um I don't know, divine feminine. This is being single and abundant. This is in the independence. Divine feminine, you just independent. Somebody could have been trying to make you depend on them. Or divine feminine, somebody wanted to, to be too dependent on you, but still from you. And Divine Feminine, you need to be free. That Nine of Pentacles, she free. She not following nobody. Ain't nobody following her. She just... Oh, mm -mm, Divine Feminine. Somebody wanted to, like, tie you down or rule over you or... Divine Feminine, it was not meant for you to be controlled or something like that. Divine Feminine, somebody need to leave you alone. Yeah. That's who you are, Divine Feminine. You free. You a free spirit, the Knight of Pentacles with the Knight, the Nine of, the Knight of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles. Divine Feminine, this could also you being a businesswoman, but you need to go into business alone. Divine Feminine, I don't know if you could have went into business like with this karmic or your Divine Feminine. Mm -mm. You work better alone. Divine Feminine, you gonna learn that the hard way. Like you, if you do business, Divine Feminine, work alone or don't work with family or something like that. Yeah, something, Divine Feminine, you're going to learn something the hard way. Like, you need to be free. Divine Feminine, may, yeah, Divine Feminine, you're just a better businesswoman when you do something alone. Yeah, something like that. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <coughs> mm. Divine 
Divine Feminine, these karmics um, could have been doing something to you too. Divine Feminine, I'm picking up, these karmics could have been lying on you. And Divine Feminine, you're not a hoe, you just mind your business. I mean, the Nine of Pentacles could be a hoe too, but with the Knight of Cups, Divine Feminine, I don't think you a hoe. Divine Feminine, you just free. Like, you mind your business, Divine Feminine. The Nine of Wands could be a hoe for sure with that Queen of Wands. But the Nine of Pentacles could be a hoe too. But coming out with the Knight of Cups, Divine Feminine, I don't think you're a hoe. But Divine Feminine, because you're like a free spirit. Divine Feminine, I think a karmic could have been telling your Divine Masculine you a hoe. Like they could have been assuming. And Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine could have divorced you. Or you divorced him. Because Divine Feminine, somebody could have been lying on you or something. Yeah, something like that. Divine Feminine, somebody was calling you a hoe. And this person didn't even know that they was a hoe. Or this person don't even know what a hoe is. Divine Feminine, it's like you was just outside minding your business. Divine Feminine, you probably like to go a lot of places alone. I'm picking that up too. It's like Divine Feminine, somebody didn't believe that you just like being alone. So this person just assumed you was a hoe. Like something, somebody stupid, Divine Feminine. And it's either your divine masculine or this karmic. Somebody is dumb. Yeah. It's like divine feminine. You just do everything alone or you like to be free. Divine feminine, maybe you like to walk a lot or um, divine feminine, maybe you don't want a car or something. You like to walk. And divine feminine, somebody was saying you a hoe or something. Somebody is just dumb. <laughs> Because you just different, Divine Feminine. But you a sweetheart. Or something. Yeah, and then the Ace of Swords. That's true, Divine Feminine. Yeah. It's like, Divine Feminine, maybe you don't want your, you don't want a car. It's like, Divine Feminine, everybody around you got a car. You don't want a car. Or Divine Feminine, you like to walk a lot. You like to do things alone. It's like, Divine Feminine, when you go on trips... You be like, no, I just want to go by myself. And divine feminine, somebody was saying, <laughs> divine feminine, somebody was calling you a hoe. Yeah. Or divine feminine, um, you don't want a car. Divine feminine, maybe you like to travel through, like you like to walk or you like to catch the bus. And divine feminine, somebody was like, um, the only people I know on this earth who don't like a car is prostitutes. So why won't why divine feminine don't got no car? Only prostitutes stand the prostitutes the only people in the world that don't have a car. <laughs> Somebody was like very ignorant, divine feminine. Yeah. 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 So divine feminine, um, you could also be getting a clear understanding, divine feminine, about why people misunderstand you. Or Divine Feminine, you're going to get a clear understanding about why you and your Divine Masculine got a divorce or why he broke up with you or something. Or why somebody was stalking you or something. Something. Divine Feminine, you're going to get a revelation or a clear understanding about something. Yeah. Yeah. Or Divine Feminine, maybe in the past, you and your Divine Masculine could have like... um went through a divorce and divine feminine maybe you could have felt guilty or something because you were saying to yourself well maybe it was my fault maybe i shouldn't have been so independent or maybe i should have did this or should have been did that but divine feminine what you don't know is that this karmic was over here either talking about you to your divine masculine or divine feminine your divine masculine was talking about you to this karmic and they didn't know what the hell they was talking about they didn't know what they was talking about divine feminine So, Divine Feminine, you going to realize that just because somebody else is dumb and ignorant, that has nothing to do with you, Divine Feminine. But you also might realize what your... Divine Feminine, it costs to be the boss. It, it just costs to be the boss. That's all I'm going to say. And Divine Feminine, because of who you are, it costed you a lot because of people misunderstood. Like, ignorant people misunderstood you, Divine Feminine.
And divine feminine, maybe you need to separate from these people. Your divine masculine and this karmic over here. Because they ignorant as hell. So divine feminine, you might get the truth about what your divine masculine and this karmic did to like mess up your life, mess up your family. Y'all, you could have been married to your divine masculine, divine feminine. Lord have mercy. Divine feminine, somebody could be getting the truth about what really happened. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because somebody was being dumb as hell. Yeah, or something like that. But, and then look at this. Yeah. And then we got poverty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I'm gonna end it. Yeah. Divine feminine, whoever your divine masculine is in or, or this karmic, they could be getting karma, divine feminine, for something they did to you in the past. And divine feminine, somebody might tell you like the truth, like what happened. Or whatever's going on after dark hours tonight. Divine feminine, somebody might tell you or something. But it's like divine feminine, you had to pay a price for something you didn't even do. Like, you didn't even do nothing wrong, but you had to pay a price. So, like they say, too, no good deed goes unpunished. Something like that. I'm hearing no good deed goes unpunished. And um, it costs to be the boss or something. So, Divine Feminine, whoever your Divine Masculine is or whoever this karmic is, Divine Feminine, you might have to just cut these people out. Because they did something. Because they was being ignorant. Or Divine Feminine, these people thought that their intelligence would trump your intuition. That's what they thought. It would trump your intuition or something like that. So, let me end it. So, <clears throat> that's what's going on after dark hours tonight. And Divine Feminine, in order karmic, enjoy y'all night and thanks. And then we got the hangman. <laughs> mm-hmm.